namyo ringiko namyo ringiko namyo ringiko hey did you guys happen to read that experience in the world tribune about the uh, special ed teacher yeah i read that pretty amazing what was it about it was about this woman who got bullied when she was just a wee girl in school and how it had affected her whole life she just couldn't let it go Oh yeah, so there's this group of like these five main girls and they tease this poor girl relentlessly. And even after 50 years, she was still kind of affected by it and still holding a grudge against these, these mean girls. Then she hears that this woman has gotten married and uh, she was the leader of the group of the mean girls. And then she hears that it was a Buddhist wedding and she just can't believe it because in her mind that, you know, Buddhists are kind and gentle, you know? Oh, okay. Yeah, so to make a long story short, she got reintroduced to this, her old nemesis by a friend of hers. And the, this woman tells her about Buddhism, her old enemy tells her about Buddhism and the lady starts to practice. Wow, that's a real turn of events. You know, what I found interesting was the karmic relationship between the two women. Like, once she was able to, um, you know, forgive her old nemesis, she, the two, you know, became good friends. Oh, so they actually became friends. Yeah. Did you ever have anything happen like that to you, Jack? Actually, I did go through something pretty similar. What happened, bro? Well, it was when I first started selling cars and yeah, so I took myself pretty seriously back then. And these guys, they, they used to tease me relentlessly because they could get a rise out of me, you know? And uh, they called me the rookie and they just, you know, they gave me a hard time all the time. <laughs> You were a little full of yourself, eh, Jack? Oh yeah, I was very sensitive to criticism. And man, these guys just had a field day with me. I mean, especially this guy, this big, this big guy, his name was Chuck. Wow, sounds like it was pretty bad. It was, yeah. In fact, um, at one point, the manager's brother, he had a friend that he wanted to bring on board, but there were no positions open. And so in order to try to get me to quit, they, they took all my stuff out of my desk and they put it on my chair and then they put my chair out in the middle of the, the lot. And as I come back from lunch and there's my chair in the middle of the lot with all my stuff on it. Oh, that's mean, man. Did you quit? You know, the me before I started practicing Buddhism would have quit, but I had already used my practice to get through some really difficult situations. So, um, no, I didn't quit. What happened then, Jack? Well, I chanted a lot and I got some advice from a friend of mine who'd been practicing for a long time. What did uh, he or she advise? Well, for one thing, he pointed out that I was taking myself too seriously. And he, he suggested that instead of getting mad, give them a taste of their own medicine, a little taste of their own medicine. Did it work then? It did. I would chant about the situation and I would pray that I could somehow defend myself without starting any big conflicts, you know? Give us an example. Well, you know, I became very good at finding people's Achilles heel. And, okay, I'll give you an example. So back to Big Chuck, right? So he used to dye his hair, right? And so when he would start to give me a hard time, I would say something like, you know, I think that shoe polish that you've been putting on your hair is starting to affect your brain. <laughs> and it was, you know, the, the other salespeople would laugh and, you know, it was just enough to, put an end to the teasing. Ah, oh, fair play, Jack. That made him think twice before he opened his big gob. 
So do you think your Buddhist practice helped you out? Oh yeah, big time. Like, if I wasn't practicing, I, I, I would have either quit a long time ago or I would have probably ended up getting in a fist fight or something. But, you know, with my practice, I was able to go into this situation with good intentions. Sounds like you gave him a little bit of tough love to me. Yep. And back to what I was saying about karmic relationships, um, I actually ended up becoming pretty good friends with Big Chuck. Oh, well done, Jack. Here's to Big Chuck. To Big Chuck. To Big Chuck. Nam yo ring go, nam yo ring go, nam yo ring.